My name's Zach Fairbrother, I'm in my second year of a history degree and I'm here to talk about being an asexual student in Sheffield. I mean on a history degree it's kind of impossible not to encounter queerness uh, in, in the past. Sometimes it's the centre of a lecture or a seminar, something that the lecturer is, is focusing in on. Other times you'll just be kind of doing your own research or reading or reading a primary source and think, hang on, this, seems, this, this experience seems familiar. Um, asexual visibility and activism is still very lacking on a national level. There's really only one major uh, asexual activist, Jasmine Benoit, uh, which is much less than kind of any other of the major letters in the acronym. Um, but something that's been really refreshing to experience in Sheffield has been how incorporated we are into general LGBTQ plus activism. Um, you go to kind of any event that isn't catered to asexual people, for example, Trans Day of Remembrance, um, and there's always bound to be an asexual speaker or someone kind of forefronting our experiences. Um, coming from somewhere with a very small and kind of tight-knit LGBT community to a city that is large enough and has enough queer people in it to kind of have this kind of diversity has been really something refreshing to experience. There's no book titled Asexual History in the same way that there are for lots of other, other queer identities. And that's something that I definitely would like to change. Uh, going forward, my specialty, I think, will be in, in Japanese history. And one of the things that I really want to do research in, maybe for a PhD thesis, uh, would be into asexual identities there. And hopefully that kind of sparks off a debate globally. My advice to current or prospective students would just be to get out there, experience uh, experience Sheffield, go and try and make friends. It'll be really, really daunting at first. I know I was terrified in, in my first year and didn't kind of go out and experience societies and such in the way that I would have liked to. But once you do, once you kind of find that courage, I promise that you'll find other people who, who share your experiences. Especially as an ace person, I am actually shocked at how easy it has been to just run into other race people at Sheffield. That's just kind of what happens when you, when you try and kind of go out and meet people.